Alright guys, welcome to your 17th tutorial, and in this video, we're going to go ahead and knock out the HTML file, so file, new, and I'm just going to go ahead and name this, uh, let's see, file, save as index.html, boom roasted, and of course, what we need to do now is we can actually, yeah, we might as well just go ahead and get rid of that, well, actually, I'll leave it open, might have to show you guys something. There we go. Chat.css. All right. The first thing we want to do is we want to make our doc type. So we're just going to make an HTML5 style doc type. Keep things very simple. And now let's do all our boring stuff. HTML. Too lazy to type that again. HTML. And actually, I usually hate dealing with a head. But we actually do need to include some important things in here. So head, head. <coughs> and body and zebati okay now in the head the first thing we want to do is we want to link to this CSS file hmm, see good thing I opened it already used it already so in order to do that we just say hey we want to link href and the name of that file is just set chat dot CSS and it's a style sheet and the type equals oh not stipe it's so embarrassing type equals text dot or excuse me dash css and we can go ahead and put the closing tags i don't think you need to put this little thing with a html5 but you know it's habit it's not going to hurt anything now that we linked to the css file we need to link to one more file and that is of course the javascript file that we did not create yet so script type equals javascript and the source I'm gonna go ahead and name this file chat.js and now we can go ahead and end it and boom look at that the head is complete one second I'm gonna pause the video alright now I'm back I just had a cough and it was a pretty gross one and I did not think that you guys wanted to listen to it so Remember, in the head, the only thing we did is we linked to the CSS uh, style sheet and also the JavaScript file, which is the one last file that we have to create still. So now we can go ahead and enter the body and create all of the cool stuff. But before we start creating all the tables and everything, what I want to do is I want to add one attribute to the opening body tag, and that's the on load um, attribute. And what this does is I'm going to go ahead and type in it now of course as soon as the body loads it's going to call this init function which is of course um, going to be well remember this what we're doing right here is we're pretty much including this JavaScript file in this file so when it calls this init function it's going to look above and it's going to find it in this JavaScript file so we have to remember later on to create an init function and what this is going to do is just initialize everything that's what it stands for and pretty much get our chat room up and going and we're going to see more about this later on but for now just want to you know tell you guys what it does but for now let's go ahead and create the good stuff the table all of this crap right here so just to give you guys a real brief overview so you guys know what's going on obviously this is a table and it has two pieces of data it has one row as you can see and two pieces of data in it here's a piece of data here's a piece of data now under the table we have another div element so this entire thing right here is a div element where it says guest in your form so again table div element just remember that for right now so the table we're gonna create right here and we'll be creating a div element right under here soon enough but the first thing I want to do is I want to remember this table has an ID of content so let's go ahead and put ID equals content and now the table has you know a border of one pixel solid black and it also has a margin bottom of 10 pixels so that's why this little div element or the form isn't butted up directly against the table so that's what you know that's how that all ties together so now the first thing I want to do is I want to add those two pieces of data but in order to do that we need to stick them inside table rows so we have one row which has two pieces of data 
table data. Actually, just do this. Table data. Now, this first piece of data is going to be this left hand side, this um, scroll area, and the other piece of data is going to be this color picker. So, this is actually really easy. Div, remember the ID of this was scroll. So, give this div the ID of scroll and end that div. Now, the reason that this is so easy. And you guys may think this, wow, that was really easy, slap your hands together, pat yourself on the back. But usually whenever you're designing a program like this, the easier it is to design in your HTML file, the harder it is to design in your JavaScript file. Because remember, the scroll area is going to be the area that always is always updating, is deleting messages, is displaying new messages, and we have to do that all programmatically through JavaScript. So for right now, we just put a blank, you know, ID scroll in there. So if we ran it right now, nothing would display. But later on, whenever we're working, you know, in our JavaScript file, this thing is going to be basically where we're doing most of our programming and making this change dynamically depending on, you know, how the server updates it. So this next piece of table data is actually 